What's going on guys? It's your boy Warrior for Christ ATL back with another video. I am indeed holding it down for my faith and rocking the active faith gear as right now you can see here active faith, uh, faith over fear and the purpose of this video guys is to talk to you guys about what's been going on with my back. So I will show you uh exactly what it looks like but i haven't even seen my back myself yet um but i said all that to say i just got through with uh back surgery and i am in the recovery mode right now um it stinks it sucks it's hard <laughs> it is hard what i mean by that is it's it's a decision that you cannot make lightly if you're choosing to get back surgery. It is not a decision that you can make lightly because obviously it is life um, changing, if not but for a moment. I will tell you that it does not just affect you yourself, but it also affects those loved ones, your loved ones, and anyone that you have anything to do with. It affects your job, it affects your neighbors possibly, um, but it definitely affects those in your household. My wife has uh, been by my side and I'm not even sure if I could have done this without her because not only was she with me as we decided to make this decision, but also she has been here with me as I have suffered through the pain. Uh, I was in pain before the surgery, but man, let me tell you right afterwards, whew, it was tough rough nights rough nights i am currently at this pr present moment about two weeks uh, removed from the surgery i do feel uh, a little better as the pain has subsided uh, as i'm going on through i am still in pain but it is not like when it first started now the purpose of me getting it and why i had to get it is because i had a protrusion in one of my discs in my lower back and the doctors don't know what caused it. I don't know what caused it. I have some people out there who have their own opinions about it, but their opinions, quite frankly, don't matter. Um, what matters is that it happened and we did something about it to help with my longevity, with my career, my longevity in the gym, <laughs> just overall. Um, and so if you hurt yourself and it's something like this, don't get caught up in the hoopla that people uh, may have with their own opinions because their opinions don't matter they don't know um, the doctor said it could have been something as simple as grabbing a piece of paper you know my body could have been in an awkward position at that particular moment which could have caused it um, it could have been any type of twisting motion and we all know that a piece of paper doesn't weigh anything so it's not about the weights you know it's just a freak accident that just happened to happen and anyone who's ever been injured knows that crap just happens. It's, you you know you don't plan on getting injured, but if you go out there just doing anything, trying not to get hurt, whether it's a sport, whether it's a job, whether it's a relationship, you're gonna fail because you aren't gonna give your all, right? Um, so don't let the fear of injury stop you. I just wanna put that out there. I want to make sure that that's put out just not here on the YouTube, but it's put out on the Instagram and it's put out in, in, in the atmosphere just period because it's very important. If you're gonna do something, it's best to go ahead and go all out and go all in on it. Do your best, give your best. And if you are messing around with fear <laughs> instead of have, having faith over the fear, then you honestly, you, you, you can't be successful. You can't be successful working in fear okay unless it is fear of failure to which it would perpetuate you to give your best to give you all but if it does if it's not doing that then fear needs to take a flying leap okay so yeah that's what's going on i am recovering from a back surgery i have my friend with me uh yeah i didn't put it too far got me a nice little cane <laughs> um they helped me get around. Uh, 
I do have to walk and that's right now that's the only thing that I can do but I will be back in the gym I will be posting these videos for you guys of me working out hoping to inspire you guys definitely going to be doing some at-home exercises as the doctor allows me the opportunity to go ahead and start working out again that's actually where I'm going to start I'm going to start with my body um, weight I'm going to start here at home and I'm going to show you guys what I do in order to strengthen my back as well as well give you other exercises as well just for the whole total body so that way you can go ahead and strengthen yourself and do what you need to do in order to make yourself happy make yourself healthier without necessarily having to go to the gym some people don't like going to the gym other people can't make it to the gym but it is worth it to take care of yourself it is worth it to be stronger and as your body gets stronger physically you feel better mentally you feel better emotionally you just feel better um, so with that being said those at home videos are going to be coming uh, just as soon as the doctor blesses off on me to go ahead and start uh, working out again obviously I won't be able to go in there and lift any iron anyway as I'm pretty sure that's going to be uh, strongly uh, recommended against at the beginning as I continue to recover so that's what's going on your boy had back surgery I had a protruded disc which shot out and just gave me a whole bunch of issues and so if you guys have that issue with you then go ahead and seriously consult with your family uh, several different doctors before doing so and once you've made that decision on whether or not to do it then understand that it's going to take time it is going to take time I have been removed from the gym for a little over a month now and I'm just making sure that I'm right it's going to be a few more months before I even get the opportunity to go back and work out again so <clears throat> for someone like myself that is not exciting news however understanding that time is it's here it's here it's not going anywhere and the time that we spend here on earth is short the the time that i'm going to be away from actually working out other than walking is going to be short as anyone who's been out of school for like say at least two years you realize that that time is fast so <clears throat> excuse me there you guys definitely be encouraged don't allow fear to control you in any situation okay have faith that you will overcome it have faith and have a lot of faith have faith over fear again faith over fear okay don't allow fear to control you but allow your faith and whatever it is that you believe that you're trying to do will actually be the outcome that you want all right so that's all i have just want to bring that by you guys let you guys know what's going on with me let you guys know that yes i had back surgery and that's why i have not been posting in the gym that's why for you guys who are at the gym and waiting on me to come back that's why i haven't been there it's because i've had back surgery and i'll be out for a while however one last time i'm going to make it i'm going to be fine i do have faith that i'm going to get back to where i need to be and in fact I'm going to be even stronger and wiser than i was before home videos coming for you guys on how to take care of that body strengthen that body it, again you don't need necessarily the gym per se in order to get to a healthy form of living okay however don't shy away from the gym either all right so that's all i got for you guys and mama bear had to take off so that's why she's not here because i would actually love for you guys to get her input on it that's that so till next time word salute peace